All right, lawyers for alleged parliament arsonist Zandile Mafe are due to launch an urgent application for his bail in the Western Cape High Court this morning. Let's go to reporter Ronald Masinda, who is outside the High Court in Cape Town. Ronald, has the court case started, or are we still waiting for uh, Judge John Chope? <laughs> Yes, well, the proceedings haven't started as of yet, Masafa, as we are still waiting to see whether we'll be, as the media, given permission to film inside. But what I can tell you at this stage is that a short while ago, the legal team of Zandira Mafia did arrive. Uh, they were led by uh, advocate Dalimpo and attorney Lou Vuyokotla. So we are seeing quite a large media contingent. We are hoping to get permission. We don't know that the media is approaching one of uh, the South African police service uh, uh, workers to see if we could get permission. But we will walk across the Maseko to maybe get more of an idea what is happening. But what is happening on my left is that uh, there's a small group of protesters calling off uh, hands off mafia. They are here standing uh, in solidarity with uh, Zandile Mafia. We will be heading over uh, uh, Masako because we are seeing quite a lot of media running towards uh, the direction of the High Court. I'm going to ask my colleague Maputi to follow me as we walk towards the High Court. Uh, there is quite a lot of police presence as well. We do know that uh, a lot of the media that is running towards that direction, they do want to hand over uh, their letters uh, to be granted permission to follow them inside the High Court. The police have uh, stated that uh, they will be very strict today. Uh, they will not uh, be allowing uh, many people inside the venue, as uh, this has, uh, all, of course, uh, been a story that uh, has uh, gripped a lot of South Africans and international uh, public uh, because of uh, what has uh, transpired. Many uh, feel that uh, Zandile Mafe has been wrongfully accused. I'm going to ask my colleague Maputi to continue walking with me towards uh, the stairs of the High Court. If you can, Maputi, uh, just nod with me uh, so that uh, we can maybe get a better sense of what is being said. I'm just going to uh, move across. Okay, uh, as we walk across, we are seeing uh, Masejo, quite a lot of uh, media contingent. Uh, but as we know, Masejo at this stage is that it is a bail application, uh, urgent bail application hearing. And we, what we heard from uh, Luvuyo Godla yesterday, speaking to my colleague Aisha Ishmael, is that Zandile Mafi is not expected here as he continues his uh, mental uh, observation that. Uh, is uh, taking place at Falkenberg Hospital. And uh, what we all also can tell you at this stage is that the media has been trying to get into the venue. I'm going to maybe just point my mic across uh, so that maybe we can get some audio as to what is being said in the background. Yeah. 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 I will go in and chase them out if needed, but no, 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 no. apparently that is orders here. Okay. Yeah. Why is that? Let, let me find out and come back to you. Okay. Okay. You are people are from the media, no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, SABC, MCA. Let me, let me find out and I come back to you. Africa. Okay, Masako, we're going to try and step out as uh, you've uh, heard there earlier on. The police officer who's uh, been tasked to address the media saying that he will try and maybe get more information as to whether or not we will be allowed to follow him here. So, a lot of people waiting with bated breath to hear if whether or not they will be allowed. But uh, what we do know is that uh, the area close to a high court has been cordoned off uh, as uh, protesters are not also allowed to be close to the high court. There have been uh, quite a number of protesters uh, in the first two uh, court appearances where Zandile Mafia has appeared and his legal team calling uh, for uh, you know, the state to allow Mafia to be released on bail. They say that he is of no danger, he has an address and that uh, he is a site B Kailicha resident. Uh, a man who has never posed any danger, so it's based on those grounds. And uh, what also mentioned earlier on is that under what he has been uh, charged is that a person of uh, that who received that charge is allowed to get bail. So we, it remains to be seen what will be discussed here, but we are hoping to get permission in order to maybe give uh, the viewers the rolling coverage that will take place here at the High Court.
And uh, Ronald, as I heard the police officer saying that Judge President John Lope's instructions is not to have cameras in court, well, here we are again having to debate the argument around public interest. This is Parliament. It is uh, a building that basically uh, allows us to um, sort of hold politicians to account or see politicians hold each other to account. And it has been publicized this entire time. Yes, indeed, Masekha. Well, it's cause for concern because, I mean, this is of uh, international interest, this story, because, uh, as you've known, I mean, since the 2nd of January, when the fire started in Parliament, many were wondering as to who could be behind this fire. Many who are here saying that it could not have been uh, the accused Zandile Mafia. This, uh, despite uh, strong allegations that he may have received uh, a training in countries like Russia to use explosives. And there were also allegations that he also received training in China. And one of the questions that are posed to one of the protesters from Azapo earlier on is that uh, it's, it emanates from one of the allegations made by a, a resident of Saipi who knew Mafia very well, saying that, you know, you saw a poster uh, suggesting that uh, Janusz Valus uh, Kishani is a killer, must be released, and that uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa must fall. And when I asked him as to why do you think he had those posters there, he couldn't answer me, but he said that he was uh, a person who was struggling with uh, mental problems. But what we also can tell you uh, at this stage is uh, as we are waiting here on the side, uh, quite a number of people are in and around the area of Long Street uh, to my right where we were earlier on. And they are also trying to get in uh, to hear the, from, for, for their own the proceedings. But we are hoping and uh, praying, uh, Masejo, that at least uh, we will be given uh, some form of information as to how we can hear in as to what uh, the proceedings will, what will be said during the proceedings. But we do know that the legal team of uh, Mr. Mafe are quite keen uh, for the media to be inside so that they can hear the outcomes. Mm. And Ronald, I mean, how easy, it, how easy is it really to get into Parliament? I mean, uh, we know that Parliament has already confirmed to our colleague Lindsay Dentlinger that uh, security officials were not on duty that day on the 2nd of January. But how easy is it really to get into Parliament? And I mean, this also is very embarrassing for South Africa, um, for Parliament to go on fire and nobody is able to explain security around the National Assembly. Yeah, I mean, that's the biggest concern because uh, men, many people would have thought, I mean, Parliament is one of, uh, you know, the, the, the areas where it should be heavily guarded. And what we got from uh, uh, witnesses who witnessed the fire on the day that I spoke to myself, they said that, you know, it, it is an area that is hardly guarded and uh, a huge wake-up call for authorities uh, who are usually not in Parliament. And obviously the investigations are ongoing, but what we also can determine that the stage is that the legal team of uh, Mr. Mafe want to also establish as to uh, what evidence could uh, you know the state have uh, to implicate Mr. Mafe uh, on this particular matter because they feel that there's absolutely no evidence uh, uh, since there's been a seven day uh, period that was given so that investigations could continue uh, to try and maybe uh, get to the bottom of what took place in Parliament so usually Parliament is in very guarded in terms of uh, security and police, especially uh, ahead as, as we head towards the State of the Nation address. Uh, but uh, from what we got from witnesses, uh, uh, many people are saying that there's been barely any security, any police, and uh, they say that uh, the security measures uh, were not heightened during that time. We also uh, know that at this stage that uh, many uh, of the police who are here are saying that they are leaving nothing to chance because, I mean, this has made them also look bad in terms of uh, not being at Parliament during that time. So at this stage, they seem like they've, uh, you know, certainly guarded this area uh, very closely, not allowing just any media or any, pers or any people from the public to enter uh, to hear the proceedings. So we are sooner to perhaps knowing and hearing as to what uh, will be the outcome in terms of our own application. We do know that court was supposed to start uh, initially at 11 o'clock. That time has been moved to 10 o'clock. It's just gone past after 10 and we are yet to find out as to what is taking place inside.